Hey guys, this is Camfree15 back at it with another. Too soon? Okay. <laughs> another video for you guys. We're back with Dragon Quest Adventure of Die. Mm -hmm. Episode what again? I believe it's episode. Uh... Uh... 65, actually. Okay. I already knew that. I just wanted to test your knowledge. Excuse me? Yes. Anyways, uh... I'm mean, trying to embarrass me, huh? I see. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <sighs> uh, don't worry. I, I, I embarrass myself anyway, so... <laughs> Anyways, um... Yes, uh... It looked like we were about to get Majin Hunickel, and then we got Atonement in the same episode. Mm-hmm. But hey, it's all right, because it's seemingly we're getting close to the final battle, which means, sadly, it seems like this series could be ending. Before we continue, uh, guys, let us know down in the comment section if, if uh, Cameron is actually saying Hunkel's name correctly or if I'm saying his name correctly. Let us know down in the comments. Like, is, is, is it pronounced Hunkel or Hunical? I, I just don't know. Let us know, please. Listen, yes. I, I just, I, I just want to know if, if, if I'm wrong or you're wrong. I don't know. The only way I'm gonna officially say it right is until we officially get an English dub for this show. Which, <laughs> why has this show not gotten an English dub? Well, technically, this show is still young, so. I want this show. If you're telling me I could get an English dub of any show right now. I want Dragon Quest Adventure of Die to have an English dub. Actually, I, I, I don't even know if the old classic Dragon Quest Adventure of Die, you know, the old classic Dragon Quest. Like, I don't even know if that had an English dub. <laughs> I don't think it did for me. <laughs> yeah, knowing them, they probably won't give Dragon Quest Adventure of Die an English dub. Unless, oh. well, it is owned by Toei, and, well, there's a lot of Toei animes that do have English dubs. Dragon Ball... One Piece, but those are some of their bigger products. I don't know. Maybe if an animations, may, maybe if a Toei or maybe a Crunchyroll Studios or Bang Zoom or other something this and decides to pick up and make an English dub for it, then hey, I'm more than welcome. But it is what it is. We'll have to stick with it as is, even though I desperately want a Dragon Quest Adventure of Die English dub because I think it would be great. Because mm -hmm. um, I definitely think you get a lot more viewers if you make an English dub, but we'll see. Anyways, uh, let's get into this episode because this episode was pretty eventful and I can't wait for more. Anyways, let's get into this week's episode. So this Dragon Quest Adventure of Die episode 65. Um, anyways, we start off the episode obviously with uh, Crocodile and Hunicle essentially looking to be executed on the day because it's noon now flora and the other troops we already knew this from the end of last week um they're already there so they're already there they're hiding in these like cave areas to stay hidden and they're seeing obviously the execution area going on now they still are waiting for diane the others to get there but uh we find out that there's like 36 ground troops on the floor and everything on the ground area along with mr vern so this is what goes on anyways mr vern ends up freeing hinekel and uh he's like you will drink the dark potion like you promised and uh hinekel well he does it he drinks the dark potion and uh animation on his dark transformation looked freaking crazy Mm, yeah, <laughs> the way he's his hair started changing color and the way he uh, his eyes started whiting out. Uh... Yes, um, he it was crazy. It did give me a little bit of Majin Vegeta transformation there for a bit. That's a that's an interesting comparison. I mean, I can I, I can definitely see that. I can kind of relate Hinekel and Vegeta in some ways. They, they, have, they, they, have both, different... they both gave in on purpose. <laughs> yeah, well, technically the difference in this case is Hunicle truly, truly didn't 
given, given. He mm -hmm. actively was fighting back, unlike Vegeta, who just, well, darkness and stuff like that. But yeah, um, essentially what happens is his hair transforms from silver to uh, black. Uh, and uh, the thing is, He's kind of like breathing a lot. He's sweating a lot. And we kind of find out from Mr. Vern. And Mr. Vern's like, oh, you tried to fight the dark ore with your ore of light. Well, that's not going to work out because darkness will always overcome light. Or so they say. Um, so, yeah, now Floor and the others are obviously shocked by this new transformation. They're shocked that Hunicle would actually give in to evil. Also, do he kind of has like this, like marking around his eyes? Um. Okay, it didn't really do anything for me, but okay. <laughs> Black markings make you look badass when you go dark. So yeah. Anyways, um, what happens is, what is Crocodile trying to do here in this situation? Trying, tr trying to wake Hyunko up, like uh, reaching up to his soul, like keep keep fighting Hyunko. Like, I'll, he's saying, "I'll always believe in you, even if you, even if you slash me into bits and stuff." Wow, Mister Vern tries to counteract that. Yes, he's essentially saying the darkness is being consumed, or no, the light within Hunicle is con being consumed by the darkness. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. But obviously with Crocodile giving these obviously pleas for Hunicle to essentially believe in him and say, you can fight this, I believe in you, you're my friend, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Hunicle, well, he is fighting within himself because in this moment, you know, he, um, Crocodile, obviously, not Crocodile, fucking Mr. Vern gives him a sword and he's like, kill your friend. Um, in the meantime, up top, Amy's trying to get down there, but everybody holds her back saying, you can't go out there, otherwise the entire plan's ruined and then Dai's not back yet um, and everything. But hey, the girl loves him, so. Yeah, but then again, we get a very controversial scene at the end of the episode where. Yep. Yeah, uh Let's, let's not mention we'll, that. We'll, we'll get to that soon. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, so, anyways, it looks like he's complicated. Going to... Yes, very complicated. <laughs> Don't... Oh my Don't... god. Okay. <laughs> Don't choke, man. Don't choke. Breathe. Beat your chest a bit. Holy crap. <laughs> <coughs> well, my. <coughs> <laughs> That's a lot of Guys, he's losing it. Hold on a second. I need some water. We need to get a little wine. Oh, are we recording? <laughs> yep. Back Vermont was nearly choking on myself and dying. Just kidding. Um, Do, Are you good, man? Do you need help? I'm good. <laughs> um, But anyways, um, Key Nickel looks like he's about to <clears throat> impale our boy Crocodile. But because of Crocodile willing himself to say, you can do better, Hunicle. You can overcome this. What does Hunicle do? He, he fights the light. I mean, <clears throat> the dark. Yeah, his, his body pretty much exploded with light aura, and he overcame the darkness within him, and which surprised Mr. Vern, obviously. Like, NANI! <laughs> yep. And uh, because of it, <clears throat> He collapses over and everybody thinks, well, he's dead because Meryl's like, his life force is gone. And everybody starts to cry. Crocodile's like, oh, crap. Damn it. Your plan didn't work out this time. And Mr. Vern's like, well, if your buddy couldn't kill you, then I'll do it myself. But our boy grabs his leg. And he again gives another Nani. Um, okay. And he nickel is a okay. He gets up, um, and essentially, um, he goes on to 
push him away and essentially he lights up and we get freaking light Henickel here. It looked badass. The animation looked great. Mm-hmm. Um, but Henickel goes on to say, Breathe. Hmm? Breathe. You, 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 you're losing your breath right there, man. I know because <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Go on. Anyways, Hineko goes on to say that he overcame said dark aura um, by using his light aura. And he, we obviously remember the part when Mr. Friend's like, you're not strong enough to use your dark aura like you used to. But because back in the day, um, he was using his dark aura back then, alongside his light aura, he kind of evened it out and kind of made like a yin and yang type of thing. Um, and essentially it made his light aura a lot stronger to combat the darkness within him, um, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, so obviously this kind of pisses off Hinnacle. I'm not Hinnacle. Uh, Mr. Mr. Vern. And Mr. Vern's like, No one should ever hit my face. <laughs> yeah, he has a real issue with people touching his face. Or seeing his face in general yeah um he tries to do his little impale nail technique but uh it just it just didn't go through it just beats on hugo's chest and hugo grabs his nails and pulls him towards him and punches his face again <laughs> yep and he starts taking out the other uh men he his other uh, men that are on the battlefield in those nights and everything um now uh master uh it's Kug it's Kug Glima or something the ghost guy uh... I forgot but it's mom and freaking shoes master I forgot his name how do I forget his name too many e he goes on to say um because of his overflowing um aura that's emitting throughout him essentially his body is rock hard as steel mm -hmm. which shows that he's crazy strong and everything um so yeah now mr Vern ends up after getting pushed back he's like i'm freaking done i'm freaking done i'm gonna kill all of you ninjas you're all dead um but obviously it looks like he's gonna go in for an attack to uh take try to take out Hinnacle and Crocodile, but uh, who shows up when we need him most? The main hero himself, Dai, and yeah. his friends. Yes, now don't ask me why uh, Pop is the one carrying Leona like a princess, like she is, but um, okay. He's a ladies' man, man. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was gonna say something uh, perverted like, I'm actually holding Princess Leona. I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, obviously, Dai and Hinako reunite. And um, the thing that they say um, is the fact that, well, Dai says, well, you know, we were kind of worried when you went evil mode for a second. But if it wasn't for mom, um, she told us to continue to believe in you and stuff like that. And obviously, mom is confronting Hugh Nichols, seeing Hugh Nichols for the first time in quite a while. She has the type of eyes that are gleaming with love, and she starts to cry and tear up, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Complicated. I'm like, wait, don't tell me she's about to confess to him right now and something like that. I'm not... <sighs> Complicated. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but they need to make up. Somebody needs to make up their mind. My boy Hinako needs to make up his mind who he wants to be with. He either needs to be with mom or he needs to be with Amy. They. Oh my god, I'm sorry, but this is just making this too complicated. I know we've been through this relationship topic on on dang near every episode of this review series, but I'm sorry, we got two girls simping for one guy. And we can't make up our mind which one is perfect for the other. Because I like the pairing of him and Amy. But at the same time, I like the him of pairing him and mom. And at the same time, I like the pairing of uh, Pop and uh, mom as well. 
Uh, at the same time, you got Pop and Meryl. That's awesome. Oh, bro, this is man. so complicated. They, these people need to make up their... I don't know if the, what the author was thinking, but um, great time to make you uh, try to realize how mom's feelings come into the objection. I'm still calling it. Pop's going to do something heroic and save mom from something, um, and she's going to give him that look. Yeah, can you call that a BS cliche? How does one thing Pop do make her instantly fall in love with him? Because of plot, that's why. I highly doubt they'll. I highly doubt they'll go that route. Maybe, mm, maybe, maybe Pop will finally realize Merle's feelings. <laughs> maybe that would only be the. Then who's winning between Amy and Mom, though? <laughs> Dude, don't make it more complicated than it already is. Okay. It's already so complicated. Uh, unless uh, Hugh Nichols that type of guy, and he's willing to have two girlfriends at the price of one. No, stop. Listen. I I I I know you you're into that girlfriend girlfriend anime, but come on. Listen, I think that's some chat stuff right there. Are you saying you are, are you saying you would do that? Listen, if two girls like me, if they're able to coexist and understand, hell, you can date me at the same time. Well, you're already here, folks. Can you do that? <laughs> like I said. If, both uh if both girls are cool with it well then what's stopping you let 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 uh put, write down hashtag cameron as a chat down in the comments please again like i said i wish i was isekai into the world's end harem world because that world seems like the greatest world on the planet anyways uh we're not talking about world's end harem even though that show is great uh, anyways, uh, some continuing do as we get to the end of the episode. Who else shows up after die and the others show up? Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, what's his name again? I forgot. The army. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. Yeah. I don't even point that out. Come on. <laughs> oh, well, I was just being nice. But anyways, the army shows up. They're ready to fight and everything. They're taking on some of the grunts. And they're just like, we'll take care of the grunts right here, right now. Don't worry about it. You focus on freaking getting to Fern Palace. Um, now, Dark King Vern is telling uh, Mr. Vern, why do you seem so pissed? I haven't seen you this pissed in a long time. And um, listen, I don't know what the hell is wrong with this guy. Also, he sees die and he's like, it seems like that boy's got a new resolve now. Interesting. Can't wait to fight him. Um just to bring him back down. It's funny because Kilvern's like, see, I told you he would come back. You should have just killed him. You should have just killed him. Um, but that was all funny. Essentially, this motivates Mr. Vern to uh, try to do his dark puppetry uh, detonation field or something like that. But uh, who comes in and stops that? What's his name again? <laughs> uh, Lon Baruch. Lon Baruch. Well, we were kind of expecting this fight from the opening, but yeah. Yes, uh, he comes in like a badass, and he's like, you see, your fight isn't with them, it's with me. And uh, our heroes are obviously getting ready to fire up the Glimmer spell. Uh, Hugh Nichols' insignia of Avon lights up. Um, Pop is still in his, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it! Um, but we already know, probably by next week, he'll do it. And we can end this stupid plot line, but okay. Um, I don't admit that's a little that's a little bit too much of a nitpick for you, Cameron. Yeah, but I'm just getting sick and tired of uh, Pop's character for being what uh, my favorite boy uh, likes to say: despair. Wow, we're bringing Black Clover into this now. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong; I love that anime. T- to to the core, but what's Gajil got to do with this? That's not Gajil, that's Raya, I believe. 
Yeah, but yeah, but that's but that's his voice. So. <laughs> okay, I know it's the same voice actor as Gajil, which makes it ten times funnier when he keeps saying despair, despair, despair. But my goodness, Pop, can you have a little bit more despair in your life? Of course, please, you can. please don't ask. Please don't ask him that. Anyways, Lombaru shows up like a badass. Great, and then um, the episode ends off because. Uh, Mr. Vern shock. So next week, we're gonna get uh, Mr. Vern versus Lon Baruch, and then we're gonna get the, I guess, unleashing of the Kalagumer spell to break through the uh, force field of the whole palace of Dark King Vern, and then we'll probably get up to our ending fights, like we see in the opening, and we'll get to the final battle, which I'm looking very much forward to. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, but great episode. Animation was wonderful today. Uh, seems like the animation next week is going to be even greater. Oh, yes. And, uh, yeah, any other thoughts on this episode before we get out of here? <sighs> Once again, Dragon Quest Adventure of Light does not disappoint. <laughs> yes. Again, it continues to show it is underrated and why people need to check the show out before it ends. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, I think that's all we got to say about the, this week's uh episode but if you guys like the video leave a like put in the comment section again no spoilers please or you will be blocked and banned from my comment section of anything relating the future of dragon quest adventure die thank you very much please come again um but uh, put in the comment section seriously uh what you thought of this week's episode the growth of he also who do you think he is gonna end up with again no spoilers Oh, so how does how how do you pronounce Hyunko's name? I don't really care. When, <laughs> whenever we get a dub and they say Hyunko, I'll be the first one saying yes. I knew I was right. Just 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 let us just let us know down in the comments, man, just, guys, because it sounds like in Japanese you're saying Hyunko, but oh, well, sometimes different. Whatever, I don't care. I'm done. Anyways, hit that subscribe button to this channel, but not only this channel, my co-host channel fusion hot <laughs> um and uh yes enjoy whatever he does over there even though he hasn't really been uploading over there but what can i say nobody watches my videos so i'm losing motivation i'm so sorry but uh if you want to subscribe to my channel uh you'll get uh anime content other than dragon quest adventure of die like black clover my hair Gadamian manga chapter reviews if you read the manga uh worlds and harem Yes, yes. Men of culture, watch that. Um, as mm-hmm. well as um, other animes that I like to talk about on the channel, as well as other movie stuff and uh, Marvel and DC content, like uh, Peacemaker with John Cena. So it's basically the new Deadpool. Yes, of the DCEU, yes. Why does it always have to be Deadpool? Hey, it's funny. <laughs> I like about it. Anyways, we're gonna get out of here, guys. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day or night when you this video. Until then, guys, stay safe out there, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.